I am writing both the equations again VO equals to GM VGS RS parallel RL parallel RO and VGS we have found it as VI minus VO so A and B substituting B in A you will get VO equals to GM VI minus VO RS parallel RL parallel RO so after opening the bracket you will have GM into VI RS parallel RL parallel RO minus GM VO RS parallel RL parallel RO this is VO so taking this term on the other side VO plus GM VO RS parallel RL parallel RO equals to GM into VI RS parallel RL parallel RO so we'll have VO if you are taking common will be 1 plus GM RS parallel RL parallel RO equals to GM into VI RS parallel RL parallel RO so you'll we'll get VO by VI which is your voltage gain as GM RS parallel RL parallel RO upon 1 plus GM RS parallel RL parallel RO so this can can find the value of the voltage gain so when you substitute the values for GM you know I'm writing the values GM is given we have found it as 2.83 milliampere per volt then RS we have found it as how much is the value 1.2 kilo ohms small RO 20 kilo ohms and RS is given as the source resistance or RL RL is 0.5 kilo ohms so when you substitute all these values you will get the voltage gain as 0.49 5 determine the resultant small signal voltage gain and the output resistance without considering the RL so the output resistance without considering the RL will be can say the output resistance will be 1 upon GM parallel RS if you are neglecting the value of RO this is the approximate analysis so it will be one zero point three five three one upon GM in parallel with one point two K of force both are in kilo ohms so you'll get it as zero point two seven three kilo ohms is the value of output resistance so this is how you need to solve the problem when it is asked to design and then solve the entire analysis so for designing as we have seen we need to find they have given us the Q point and we need to find the value of R1 R2 RS so these values we have found out then using these values we are doing the AC analysis so if you make any mistake in finding the values of these resistance resistances then the AC analysis might go wrong so in order to get all entire answer to be right you what you need to do is you need to take very much care for while finding the values of the resistances so once you have got the values of resistances very correct then you can have all the answers to be correct thank you for watching in five minutes for further concepts kindly keep watching in five minutes